saw me on the way down and I looked like toast and I looked even more like, yeah, right now. <laughs> Here's the thing, uh, I got to Bowling Green late. We're here, I'm excited that we're here. I'm gonna get every minute of sleep that I, that I can because I need it. Tomorrow's a fun day and I'm glad that we have an opportunity to share it with you right here on the vlog. When you do a National Corvette Museum delivery of a new Corvette, let alone a new ZR1, that's some cool stuff. And having that flexibility to get out of the office and do the things that we're doing and share what we're sharing here on the YouTube channel is not only a thrill to me, it's great for our customers. And a lot of you watching the channel, your feedback means a lot. So I appreciate you being interested and enjoying what we're sharing. And uh, okay, I gotta, man, I gotta get to sleep. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. Hey, good morning, gang. Well, what do you think? I look a little bit better than I did last night. Ah, easy. Easy with the comments. I, I feel a little bit better anyways. Run a little bit late. We're on our way to meet Wayne because today he's picking up his brand new ZR1 Corvette. And regardless how much sleep the ZR1 got, you know it looks fantastic. And we're gonna show you. Okay, that was a nice quick breakfast with Wayne and his wife and his family, and we're on the way to the museum. And still, right now, the day he's picking up the car, he ordered one thing on the car, on my recommendation, that has just got his head so <laughs> screwed up. It's so silly. But once he sees it, he's gonna go, you're right, Rick, so I'll show you once we get there. And you guys are gonna laugh too and go, yeah, that, that's perfect. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, we made it. Nice, windy, hey, it's dry. Windy, dry, but that's good. You know, I think your nickname today, after we had breakfast, your nickname yes. today is gonna be Nelly. Whoa! As in, <laughs> nervous Nelly. Whoa! I was thinking about what we talked about at breakfast. I told you guys, there's one option, you know, Wayne has always been real trusting in, in my suggestions in ordering the car, but there's one little option, I'm not gonna tell you that. Wait till you see the car. One option that we ordered that even at breakfast, the day he's picking up his car, he's like, man, he's like, man I, I don't know about that, Rick. I don't know about that, Nelly. <laughs> little nervous, Nelly. You're so funny. You know what, though? You're going to see I was right. Hey, I nice shirt, so. by the way, brother. I hope so. Thank you. I got one just like it. <laughs> Thanks to him. He bought me the shirt and a hat. I love it. I had to wear it today. I told you, I got the coolest customers in the world, man. It's good to be here with you, dude. Good to be here, Rick. Got the grandkids. Nice hey, you know what's funny? You know what you told me earlier? What? You get to ride in Grandpa's ZR1 today. Yeah. But you know who gets to ride in it first? <laughs> me. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Wayne, you know, uh, you know these people, hey, this is only a two-seater car. <laughs> Just, I don't know if you knew that. I mean, I did, you did have one before, but my gosh. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. All right. Oh yeah, right there, baby. Yeah. I'll tell you something, webcam doesn't do it justice. No, it doesn't. Oh man! Um, wow, dude, those chrome wheels are smoking oh. hot. Yes. Now, uh, when we were ordering it, Wayne said he goes, "Okay, enough of the black wheels already." <laughs> yeah. He goes, "I wear the black shirt, but enough of the black wheels for Pete's oh, sakes." Oh, All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo! I would have been okay with just the spoiler like it was on my Z06. On the Z06? Yeah. But you know what though, if you look at this, it's like a work of art. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. really pretty. It's really pretty. See, most of them back here got Thank you. Alright. Here guys, while he's kind of getting situated, you notice what we didn't do? Although, he has the chrome wheels, did not do the chrome emblems. And see what a nice accent that is? So you have the Carbon Flash ZR1, carbon flash up in the front. Look at this. Oh. On the interior. And you're see, you're still talking about it. Oh my gosh, you're killing me. <laughs> he's really, he's really talking about this. About that, you know how many conversations we had on this option? Like the yellow <laughs> stitching. <laughs> hey, nice job. The yellow stitching. Smart guy, I like this guy. He goes, he goes, I hope you like the yellow stitching. <laughs> No, we ordered it with the blue stitching, and Wayne is not, he hasn't slept in weeks. 
Yeah, you're nah, it's, it's, it's it really that. looks good. No, it really, get any? It's nice. All right, so seriously, blue stitching, was I right yes. or was I right? My man. You were right. You thanks were for, right. Thanks for trusting me. And you were right. We had long conversations on that. Yeah. I almost almost got to the point where the poor guy's like, Jesus, Rick, I'm spending 140 grand. Can you shut up already? I don't want the blue stitching. I'm like, no, man, you got to get the blue stitching. Did they do something different with the seats? Oh, you had competition before, didn't you? Yeah, but they didn't. They might not be adjusted properly, but I mean. Yeah, but they feel good. This yeah. is definitely yeah. the blue stitching sets. Oh, man, I'm telling you. What would you say? Blue stitching sets it all. Dude, another high five. All right, somebody, see, he, he listened to me. Hey, we've had many conversations over it also. Have you really? Yeah. I told you, man, he was in the four or five conversations. He, even the other night, he's like, hey, Rick, uh, he, goes, he goes, I'm real excited. Check he goes, I'm glad you're coming he down. Is, he hates the Check out the blue. blue. I know. He goes, I'm worried about the blue stitching. I'm I said, blue guy. Blue, blue's in the but, logo. Now, I'm I not going to yeah, be. I'm not going to be like the other guys right. and change the logos to red and put red calipers. That's that's not Corvette. Right. right. That's right. always been the blue. So it, I'm going to stick with it. It's too late now. Regardless if you that's like what it, I told him. It's like too late it. now. So I hope you like it. <laughs> it's too late yeah. now. But he really was concerned about the blue stitching. Yeah, that's no, hilarious. Really said oh, it looks nice. It looks uh, fantastic. It really looks cool. It, it's subtle. It's subtle. Exactly. And it goes it's with subtle. the theme of the car. It, this is great being here for this. It really is. And thank you for taking the time to join us here on the channel so you too can share in the experience as much as we're allowed to share in picking up what they call the Corvette Museum Delivery. This is the 2019 ZR1 Wayne and Rita. Now, I know he's drove you nuts over this blue stitching thing, but... Yes, he did. What yes, did you say? Did. I mean, didn't, did you I agree will. or... I see, I, I'm not a big blue person, but I was like, but it looks good. It's real subtle, it's real, it's yeah. really nice. <laughs> it's different. So. I did, when we were ordering a car, I swear to God, I almost had to twist his arm. <laughs> yeah, they, they do this is just beautiful. <laughs> it is, because it's, it's not like bold and stand out right. and grab All right, I'm gonna leave him alone, let him check it out a little bit, but I told you, he was really tore up over the blue stitching, but I just knew in my heart that was the right way to order this car. You know, just the little subtle accents of the blue of the ZR1 logo on the hood, the blue calipers, I mean, those are just hot. You put just a little bit of the accent on the inside, and what I was saying earlier, I don't know if you guys heard me, uh, you get a custom plate when you order a car from the museum, it has your name on it, National Corvette Museum. He really wants to change, he's gonna keep that. Uh, obviously, but he wants to change it out and actually just put the blue ZR1 logo in there And that's what I said. Hey, you're gonna have blue with the ZR1 in there I mean you, the blue stitching the whole deal. It's, it's gonna work man. Trust me and uh, he did and I'm glad he did I think I think he's glad he did too. Hey, remember the other thing we talked about too that turned out nice I mean just subtly things I just was talking about earlier. Okay, so you did the chrome wheels yeah. But what you didn't do Is you didn't do the chrome emblems? So this would have all been chrome so the ZR1 and the Corvette emblem all being in black actually looks better on the outside of the car. It's a nicer accent. It's a stronger accent. Sometimes it gets a little washed out in the chrome. Yeah. So that looks yeah. great. Yeah, that does. Yeah, that does. Here, now look at, look at, look at, see? Yeah. Wayne, look at that. See what I mean? There's your chrome emblems. Now those don't look bad against the blue. No. But I think on the silver it would have been washed out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it looks a lot better. Hey, all right, another chrome wheel guy. Oh, all, right. All, right. all right, this guy's not so bad. No, he's yeah. not bad. He's not chrome bad. wheel. Did two-tone seats in there. Did Rich the really uh, not that bad. Yeah, he did the GT seats. He didn't do comps. I don't know why he didn't do the nice seats. Okay, one group's going right now. I think Wayne's doing some paperwork, and then he's going to be doing a tour that we're hoping that we can partake in. Uh, here's something interesting I thought I would share with you guys while we're waiting for him and the rest of the family. And that's in regards to the silver ZR1. I don't know this for sure, just kind of speculating, but well, Wayne's allocation was our first one. It was supposed to be built in that first batch of all the cars you saw from these small no-name dealers that got ZR1s before we did. Uh, and for some reason, from 312 Build Week, this car was moved to 416 Build Week. It was the only silver one that I had. Now here's where I draw the conclusion that I might be right on this. Uh, just ordered a car for Henry in California, also a silver ZR1, where I released that allocation where the build cycle should have been. Should have put that car somewhere around like the middle, like the second or third week of June build. No, that car was pushed out to July 30th build week. So here's my question, and again, just speculation, but assuming that I might be right in this, 
Is the new paint facility just a little bit slower, maybe a, a little bit more of a process when it comes to silver? And probably not on the regular Corvettes because I've ordered some silver for inventory and they've come through pretty well, but the ZR1 silver, because of all the carbon fiber, is that slowing up the process? I mean, tremendously so that they're adding four to six weeks to what would normally be a four to six week turnaround time? Again, just something like that. Throw out there for you. While we're waiting for Wayne and why I like to turn the camera on and talk to you guys. So thanks for taking the time to join us for this special ZR1 delivery. Looks like somebody's picking up their uh, Long Beach red car right now. Spice red interior. Joe, if you're watching the channel right now, I know you're getting real excited because you're like, ah, that's the car I'm getting. Yeah, there it is. Your time's coming too soon, buddy. Yeah. You guys watching on Facebook right now, you're watching the live feed that we put up there. Appreciate that very much. Thank you so much for the support and taking the time out of, aren't you supposed to be working right now? <laughs> if you're watching this live feed, yeah, you are, you're supposed to be working. That's all right. Thanks for taking the time to join us. I really appreciate that. There's the webcam. Hello, webcam. Beep, beep, beep. If you guys can see behind me, Wayne's in the car right now, kind of going over the car a little bit, and more stuff that I'm actually going to do with them when we get outside. One thing I want to do, and stress to them, although they're showing them, hey, you can turn the mode selector, open up your exhaust. It's important to know, especially, oh my gosh, especially on this monster, the ZR1, you're turning that dial, that mode selector, you're changing the setup of the car for throttle progression, traction assist, steering feel, and your magnetic ride control. So if you really want, you really want to have that exhaust open and sounding cool all the time, and why wouldn't you? <laughs> I understand that. What you end up doing is going into the settings through the infotainment system, and those are electronic baffles. They're not vacuums, so that way you don't compromise the, the ride of the car, the feel of the car, but you definitely want to compromise and actually enhance the sound of the car, and that's how you do that. Now I think the Corvette Museum delivery option is a fantastic option for a number of reasons. It's a great experience for you folks, but the money that you spend on that gets donated directly to the museum. But a lot of folks don't realize there's one set destination charge in this. So, so the initial destination fee is on every car, even for these that just come across the street. But that's how you keep that level of consistency. But again, like I said, the money you spend for the Corvette Museum delivery here at the National Corvette Museum goes to the museum. It's wonderful the support the museum's getting, how well it's doing because of us. So nice job, guys. So yeah, we get that question a lot, you know, if they're doing a museum delivery, do I still have to pay the destination charge? Some of you guys knew that already, but for those of you that didn't, now you know. Thanks for joining us. Larry, what are we doing next? Are you still working with him inside there? Yes, I am. Okay, buddy, take your time. We're having fun out here watching you. That's good. <laughs> No.
another neat component of the Corvette Museum delivery when you pick up your Corvette is you actually tour the museum. So for Wayne and his family that have never been through the museum, they're in for a treat and a neat little education on Corvette. Simulator. Okay. No, not really. She <laughs> <laughs> let crazy. Ethan drive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they got lawnmowers for the grass. You don't need to go on it. <laughs> How's Grandpa doing? He's not doing too good, is he? It's a hard car to drive. It's yeah. not like driving a real this car. It's crazy. told you guys that Corvette's a rock star, but you feel like a rock star when you're leaving the National Corvette Museum on that special delivery. Look at these people standing around, getting ready to watch Wayne take his car. Hey, this has been fun though, having you on yes. the channel. Yes. We're not done yet, we're just trying to get you outside. like that Jim Carrey movie. Oh darn, all this horsepower and no room to gallop. Yeah, just oh, absolutely yeah. the handling of the car. I mean, it it's, felt different when I drove when I just drove it just that little part to it. Yeah, I mean yeah, it does once you get it on the road. It's just incredible. I mean just incredible. How about this gang? Wayne's on the channel, past customer of ours. I'm driving his car. <laughs> I'm being careful. Like we're not gonna go crazy. Just a little feel. Only five miles on the car. Do you want to get on the freeway or no? and come back or something. Yeah. Wow. I'm driving 40 
83 and uh, you could tell that this car's like uh, what are you doing let's go <laughs> yeah. said, oh my gosh there's heavy traffic so we're not we're not going really anywhere <laughs> Say, I want to look at a Corvette. It's like, <laughs> yeah, right. Everything changes. Yeah. Like, okay. Uh, no. Did I say something wrong? It's it. like, okay. Right, right. That's what you feel like, you know? Yeah, we just did a quick loop. I didn't, didn't go crazy in the car. Uh, this is Wayne's car. And, uh, wow. My first time ever driving a CR1 is right now, and I truly can feel the difference in the car. Oh. Boy, that, now, don't forget. We talked about that. Now you had all stuff going on with me, but don't forget, you get the driving school. I, I you gave me all the brochures on yeah, that. And you said it's free. Yeah, because you got the ZR1. But right. I'm telling you, your schedule is worse than mine. You got the guy goes by the Mustang, <laughs> <laughs> and he was pressed out like a four cylinder. Yeah, he did it like a it. six cylinder, four cylinder. Uh, okay, I'm impressed. Oh, well, really? Uh, <laughs> but with your schedule, please make time. Uh, it's a great I, I education. Like yeah. it, it's a great experience, and I encourage all my Corvette customers to do it. It really should be mandatory. Yeah, you know, this car. I would like that. now there hot shot I like it I know I like it no. it turned out good I was real hesitant I know you were it, it really looks good because it's very subtle and it's identical color everybody in the it's family said you've been losing sleep over it <laughs> <laughs> dude you've been an absolute blast to work with I'm real proud you, to be a Rick. part of this man same with you thanks, I appreciate thanks it man. thank you this is cool all right we're gonna go get some lunch but uh, Wayne for all intents and purposes for the Corvette Museum and what we're doing on the vlog right now we're done so let's rock and roll Right. See you, man. Yeah, yeah. Right, we get to do the send-off, Pat, right here at the National Corvette Museum. All right, Wayne. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel like I did last night. Yeah, it, it's been a long day. 
but it's been a fun day. Just finished up a late lunch with Wayne and his family. Glad I had an opportunity to do that. Glad I had an opportunity to share what I do from a retail capacity representing this car with you folks right here on the YouTube channel. Thanks for taking interest. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for your support of the channel. You can thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel. But here's here's what I thought was pretty neat. I mean, Wayne's from Kentucky. They picked up that ZR1 today. He lives about an hour from here, has never been to the National Corvette Museum. So he enjoyed the history, learned a few things. The kids enjoyed a lot of stuff. And once again, congratulations. And thanks for allowing us to share your experience right here on the YouTube channel. I'll tell you what, those chrome wheels are gorgeous. Love them. It's the Chevy Cruze versus the Corvette ZR1. There you go. What, what do they do on the road? They got the three beeps. Okay, here we go. I don't stand a chance. Bye-bye.